So yesterday, PopCap dropped a new monthly devlog article. I mean, I say monthly, but both June and July's have been wrapped into one. We did have prior knowledge of this. The community manager, Nick Trunks, did say apparently the delay was due to members of the team being on annual leave, but things should be back to normal this month. Nice to see that PopCap have once again created a short video overview to go along with this. I do enjoy them and they are put together pretty well, as well as lots of tweaks and changes going on in the background. And of course, adding even more levels because why not? The main two big items on the list this month, of course, are a new plant and zombie. We've had Landscaper Zombie, which we've actually known about for about a year, if not longer. It was originally featured in that beta trailer ages ago, but it's nice to see he has finally been added. He's able to one-shot plants. This time around, the devs have also included some pieces of concept art. I always love myself some good old concept art where we get to see some variations of his weapon. Then Puff Shroom is just Puff Shroom. We know how this guy works again it's nice to see some character concepts as well popcap also addressed pick a plant they are still working on it but apparently it's coming sooner than we expected now i'm not sure if that's necessarily a good thing or not but as i suspected there have been big changes to many of the levels since we will be able to go in with the plants we want i imagine some levels will still restrict us let's just hope there's more freedom than restrictions though more details will be shared about this in an upcoming blog now when we get to the final image in the article things get interesting because it shows off something we've yet to see and it's weird that they don't talk about it in the article at all so this is the survival guide which i suppose is just a different way to show the player which zombies will be coming for their brains in the level which is a nice touch i mean yeah it is just a feature that's in all the other pvz games but it's good pick a plant is not just being shoved straight into the game they're thinking about the systems around it with the player choosing their seeds they need well they don't need it but it helps helps the player's strategic decisions of which plants they want to take into a level. I like how the survival guide looks and hopefully this might mean all the zombie information they're providing here will later go into an almanac. You may have also noticed something sneaky in the background on this image. Firstly, look who it is. It's our beloved potato mine. He has made an appearance. Likely this means we'll see this plant added to the game very soon. We can also see in this image the pick a plant screen. There's a reset button at the top left as well as a couple of buttons on the right the red one is presumably closed but I'm, I'm not sure what the purple one could be so yes lots of exciting stuff on the way it's nice to see the game moving in the right direction and i'm looking forward to seeing how pick a plant is going to change the game and hopefully making it a lot more enjoyable but anyway guys that's going to do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed let me know what you think of this in the comments below remember to like and subscribe and i shall see you in the next one okay thanks guys bye bye